What's going on, everybody? This is the uh, Black Men's Roundtable. Today, we wanted to talk about a subject um, that I've actually found a lot of women that I know running into this issue. Um, we want to talk about how to know when to back a guy's vision versus just when he's full of shit. So, you know, so when to back a man up versus when to back away from a man based on what he says he's going to do, whether he's an actual hustler or somebody who's just pipe dreaming. You know, so a hustler meaning, you know, he may not be where he wants to be, but he has the drive and has the foresight and has the, the work ethic to actually get somewhere that's going to be like a, a, a good bet for you to actually put some energy into mm -hmm. versus the dude who lost his job, can't find work, and so now he's like, well, look, I'm a, I got this company, and he's just kind of you know, spinning wheels, telling stories, and, and trying to act as if he's doing more than he's doing. Um, I, I think there's layers to it, um, as far as the hustlers go. Some some hustlers are going to be like, you know, more like street hustlers that might do, you know, CDs, DVDs, oils, whatever the case may be. And that's fine, that's still a hustler. But then you have hustlers who kind of progress into like the business level too. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think it's important that you don't shit on a on the street hustler for being a street hustler because he's still on the street yeah i mean he's still he's still right. getting the job oh, right, he's still, right, he's right. still actually um, <coughs> making nothing Five, something right. out of nothing right you know what i mean he, he's still flipping he may not be where you might think he's supposed to be but uh, some guys make you know 50 60 70 grand uh just doing their little side hustles and things like that so it's just mm -hmm. about recognizing what looks um what, what's actually real versus what what sounds good, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's dope. I mean, um, you know, I, I definitely think uh, when I think of a hustler, I think of a, a multitasker. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Somebody that can have uh, their hands in different pots and have diff have uh, funds, income coming in from uh, different areas. Always thinking ahead um, and kind of staying ahead of the curve, so to speak. Pipe dreamer is gonna be you know, uh, one has always got an excuse. Um, it's always about potential, what it could be, and not what it really is. You know what I mean? Um, and you know, <clears throat> it, it can range from the the quote unquote pipe dream being plausible and it could happen to it being some far fetched crazy shit that you know it's not very realistic. But you know, maybe they you know they can sell you on that quote unquote vision. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing about it is kind of, it's almost like a relationship where, you know, a guy can say he loves you, he can mean it, or he can say he loves you, he can not mean it. Right, right, right. A lot of times that pipe dreamer is going to, what he says is going to be, it can be a really good idea. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it can actually work. And they can actually do it. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> it just depends on if they're actually that person who's going to do it. Right. You know, and one thing I noticed about like a lot of pipe dreamers is, they don't like for people to ask them questions. Right. Especially the questions. The devil's about, in the details. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Questions about yeah. progress because that's what they're not trying to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not trying to put in that that day to day, that grunt work. Yeah. That the part does not fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, that's not glamorous. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that money is a glamorous. They, part. Also, they don't want to do the work. A lot of times the the pipe dream is always there's no action behind mm -hmm. it. It's always just I'm going now. It's like they get that virus, the I'm going to virus, mm -hmm. and there's no action ever to follow it up. Yeah. So um, I think I think that's one of them. I think that the pipe dream, even if they do get something going, they're not willing to reinvest yeah. inside of their business. They're willing to take the money and want to flash or go buy some tennis shoes or outfit or something like that. So. I think also when you talk about all of this, especially from a relationship standpoint, I mean, it's about if the person that you're with, you know, whether it's a guy, or the guy got a girl, whatever, the person has to be kind of realistic with themselves also. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people have goals that aren't in line with who they are as a person. You yeah. know, you can't be, you know, somebody that can't add very well or mm -hmm. do basic multiplication or something like that. Yeah. Telling me I'm about to be an astronaut. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That's not going that's, that's, that's cool. That doesn't make sense. You need for effort. That, that, you, you want to do something, but that's not going to happen. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, that might be a reason why you, even you got to kind of walk away from a person or from certain people, even friends, 
Um, because they're going to expect you to support them and what they want to do, even though it's not realistic what they want to do for them. You know, you can't be five two talking about you going to go into the NBA. He ain't even played college ball. Yeah. You know, it's like, come on, man, that shit ain't gonna happen. It's hard to tell people that shit ain't gonna happen when it's their dream. Right, right, you know, right. just like you, know, you got a lot of cats that want to be rappers and stuff like that, that don't really have no flow like that, or you just get older. Or they, or they 40. Right, they right, 40. right. You're getting older. At a certain age, that needs to become more of a hobby. Yeah. And if you make it, you make it. If not, you know, you're just doing it for the love of the game. Mm. Yeah, but. And, uh, but you got to still be able to, to take care of your kids and all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. A true hustler is going to, he's not going to just sit up and starve. Right. Mm -hmm. if, even if he has a dream that he's not participating in actively right now, he has a, a hustle that's going to take care of. House. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, his house is going to be taken care of. Right. And, and I mean, if he's down, he's going to be down very, a very, very short time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, you know, I would recommend women don't even mess with dudes who are down to a certain degree because um and and Shazad Ali kind of marked on it it was interesting but a guy who's down too far once he gets up if you bring him up he might not even want to fuck with you because you've seen him at a level that he not comes <laughs> forward to seeing him yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying that he wants he wants to be he wants to be with a woman like who shot. has a certain image of him right, right, yeah right, and right. if you didn't live with your mom and cried about being fired and all this shit and now you get on your feet and you done came back up and yeah. you want to be that nigga yeah. you might decide well she just seen a little too much of a mother <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's ego and, and that's yeah. a lack of loyalty yeah yeah but it happens though yeah, you know it, it happens and so I mean you got you got to kind of let a guy pick himself up you can you can help him walk you can push him while he's walking mm. you know what I mean but the, the pickup he got to do on his own yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I think I think too like a background tells on a person too like mm -hmm. In their background, have they had follow through with things? Are they somebody who mm -hmm. do one thing one week and then like I'm gonna play the saxophone next week? Mm -hmm. So I, I also think follow through and a person's history contributes as well to if it's a pipe dream or if it's something real. Yeah, and and you gotta be careful with uh, so uh, there's some guys who will call themselves entrepreneurs because they were kind of placed in that position. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like say you say you're a um. Uh, marketing or editor, so you edit, edit for a company or something like that, and you've always just applied for jobs, but they make you a contractor. You know what I mean? So now you're technically you got your own business mm -hmm. because you're a contract worker and your contract expires. Now some people will, might get a couple contracts from a couple different companies because that's what they applied for, but they were actually wanting the job. Mm -hmm. And when those contracts expire, they're not able to drum up your business. They're self-employed yeah. business. Yeah, but, but right. some people some themselves. people don't even want to be self-employed. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Like, right, right, some right. people just fell into self-employment. Mm -hmm. And so they may say, I own my own company. Mm -hmm. But the, a company, a, a business is all about being able to provide the, um, the demand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Most people have a service. Right. Everybody, everybody in almost any room with a job has a service they can perform. Mm -hmm. Companies are the buffers between the supply and demand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you provide the supply for the for the for the service, the demand that 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 the individual is, is able to do. If you're a truck driver, you know what I mean. You are your service is truck driving, but the company provides you with the actual demand. Mm, for right. your service, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying. Right. So you can't. So, but a guy might say, "Well, I got a trucking company because he got a couple contracts." Mm. But if he's not a company to where he can keep contracts, right, contracts right, 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 right. Right. you know what I mean? Then right. he didn't necessarily choose to be a business. And that's right. why, even you know? from a business standpoint, I've even and even in conversations that we've had, once mm -hmm. whenever I find myself in that position, mm -hmm. I say, "Oh no, hold on, yeah. I can't control the the, the the demand." Yeah. Or, you know. Everything as far as this goes, so there, 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 it is important to to recognize the difference because yeah. there's still somebody else that's kind of the the puppet master. Yeah. In certain situations like that. Yeah, because you want the hustler that chose to be the hustler. Mm -hmm. You don't want the guy who fell into it and said, "Well, you know, I've been doing this for this company and this company," because that's 
how they chose to give me the job. Right. You want to say, well, I set my company up and then I applied for this contract. Mm -hmm. You didn't apply for a job and end up with a contract. Right. Because right. then that person might lose that contract and just be ass out. Right. Because okay. he was never looking to have an actual business to begin with. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of people too are are uh, they live on what they used to be. Yeah, that's right. You know, I used to get money. Mm -hmm. I, I read something. I think it was on Facebook or something. Like I thought it was an excellent little meme or whatever, and it said something like, "It ain't nothing sadder than a nigga that used to get money." <laughs> <You're right about laughs> you know that. what I'm saying? You're They'll right spend their whole time talking yeah. about, "Yeah, I used to do this. I used to do that." Them niggas should they should take care of me because I used to do this mm -hmm. for them. The world don't care about what you used to do. Yeah. But a lot of times we. We want so much credit for what we used to do, and a lot of people will even give us credit for what we used to do. A woman will be with a man because he used to be the man. Yeah, he could be could used to be the basketball star in high school. Right, right, right. But he's <laughs> not the man no yeah, more. But he yeah. can still pull a couple of chicks or something yeah, off yeah. Uh, just gotta, on the right stretch yeah. from twenty years ago yeah. type of shit. Remember that dog came alive? Right. right. <laughs> and that's what a lot of people gotta <laughs> think of, bro. <laughs> twenty years ago. Girl. Uh, a lot of people gotta reinvent themselves. So that's that's a good example. Like you a basketball player. Now you get out, you ain't got nothing to do. Mm. You got to do something. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's the what's, what's my man? Jamal Mashburn. Mm. Shaq. Them kind of motherfuckers. Mm. They took their money. Yeah. They got businesses. Magic they ain't reinvented themselves. I used to be a basketball player. Yeah. Now I'm a business owner. Yeah, now Johnson. I'm this. Yeah. But you got to move on. If you used to be a DJ, you got to keep up with the times, too. A lot of people mm. want to stay. You want to keep scratching. They ain't doing that shit no yeah, more, man. Yeah, yeah. You got to be able to use this fucking computer. You got to yeah. reinvent yourself to be able to use this computer and produce. Make some beats. Do yeah, something. Old dude, yeah. yeah, old dude with the process and the, and the right. rabbit fur and the lizard, the lizard snake skin shoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, this was flat. <laughs> yeah. no, you got to reinvent yourself. You need some Air Force yeah. Ones or something, dude. Right, right. You, you got to come along. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, us is going to have execution. You know? mm -hmm. It's going to be able to actually say, okay, this is how this is going to go. And it should go something like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It may, it may you might have bumps in the road, yeah, but you're you following the plan. I got a path. Faster. But yeah, it should, it should be able to actually, you should be able to produce fruit, you know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think maybe, uh, what do you, what would you all say that, uh, have you all known many women that fall for the, uh, for the okie doke as far as that goes? Oh, yeah. I actually don't. You do? Mm -hmm. What, what Not as far as a pipe dreamer. Yeah, um, I've met plenty of women that <clears throat> fall in love with the image or what somebody totally. used to be. Mm -hmm. You know, see, it's hard because I don't almost say people's names. But yeah. I don't do that. yeah, I mean, you just. But, yeah. yeah, they, uh, let me see, how can I not? Because you might be lying. Tell them about stories. Tell them about me. Just don't say your name. Everything okay? Yeah, but I'll just keep it general. You know, when they first met them and this and that and the other, and they actually had glimpses of that person mm -hmm. uh, when they decided to hitch their cart to their wagon mm -hmm. and then find out that the loser asset of them made them fall. But sometimes, I'll be honest, the women contribute to uh, enabling them and, 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 you know, push on with the fall off. So what? what? Well, you know, a lot of times, like you said, you got different layers of hustlers. You got some hustlers that's naturally hustlers, then you got some hustlers by necessity. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the hustler that is doing it for survival, they get with a woman, and she She's makes part it, of that survival. She plan. takes his edge. She takes his edge off because she makes him comfortable. Uh, so, okay. but he was never a hustler in the first place. He was just a sucker ass nigga. But she enabled him. Though. That's, That's the thing. She's enabling him. But he might have been a hustler right. to survive, is what right. he's saying. Right. He, he was just surviving. Yeah, yeah, but he might have been. He might have been hustling. He wasn't hustling. He was surviving. Yeah, I mean, that's but, all. That's yeah, all. I get what you're saying. Like, you like, like, I get what you're saying. He didn't want to do that. But like you said earlier, you said okay, you might have a nigga out there who. I mean, it's, well, nigga, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, he might have been selling CDs in front of Save a Lot. Okay. okay, and he might have been making, you know, what, what do they make? Shit, twenty dollars. They make shit now. Nothing now, but they just make a couple hundred dollars. Some time. Right, or, right. Uh, or Lucy cigarettes. He's making some money. 
you know, to survive. He's making some type of money mm -hmm. to live. Mm -hmm. So then he moves in with this chick who has a decent job and says, yeah, I'm a hustler. I sell these cigarettes out here. I'm making stacks. Yeah, and I'm trying to do this. Right. I'm trying to do that. But then you actually <laughs> become the replacement of the hustler. Right. So right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a hustler. But so he home. wasn't yeah. no hustler in the first place. Yeah, no. He was, he yeah, he was a pipe dreamer. Yeah, he was a pipe dreamer like a hustler. Absolutely. He but, just was doing what he had to do at that moment. Right. Yeah. A real hustler ain't no woman going to come along and just make him just decide, you know what? I don't even want to get money no more. Mm -hmm. This yeah. love is enough to f make my bank account overflow. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> you're not going to want to live off of no woman anyways. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's the reality of it. He's not going to want to live off of a woman to begin with. You know. But you never, in, in desperate situations, though, to be... I mean, there, there are he might no, 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 but that, but that same dude without the woman could have actually became the right, hustler became without the enabling it. You right, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it was, it's possible still. But if he had to do something, he'd be like, I've got to, I got to get the fuck off right, these streets. Right. Even I got to do something. He's only going to do something if he absolutely has to. That's why I say he has to choose the so hustle. So he ain't got the, the, the true hustle. heart of it. Exactly. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Even when his bank account. When it's food in the fridge and it's money in the bank and the bills is paid, you still want to hustle. That still is, want to that is very important. You still yeah. want more. You still right. want more for your family. Now, instead of thinking, how can I make sure that we got dinner, how can I pay for college? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or how can I pay yeah. for tutors? Or how can I make sure my wife is happy or my, my girl or whoever? How can I get my wife retired? Or, right. Yeah, how can I get my wife to the house? I mean, it's kinda, it kind of it kind of draws a parallel to sports to me to that, like, Michael Jordan could have won one ring and be like, whoo. I'm good now. I won one. Yeah. No, he got nine or whatever the hell he got. You got to keep winning. You got to yeah. keep. He still had to drive every time you saw Michael Jordan. You just, everybody saw him play basketball. He had to drive mm -hmm. to keep wanting to do. So, yeah, look, you got to he got to be a winner. You yeah. know what I mean? He has to. He got, and you got to see how he handles uh, how he handles a win. You know what I mean? How, how, how he handles a loss. Sure. Might, yeah, but but a win yeah. especially because. Yeah. You know, he might have a big lick. Now, say say he decided he want to flip something because somebody told him about flipping the house, flipping the car or some shit. Mm -hmm. So he flips something, he might make two, three grand, four grand, five grand, mm -hmm. and he partying with that motherfucker like there's no us. tomorrow. Right. This motherfucker you know disappear for like a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come back with cocaine yeah. head. Come back Lamar Odom. Cocaine head. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that's right. the thing. You got to see how he handles those, how he handles those wins and, and how he handles the losses. You know, if he, if he God damn, treats I'm those all over victories you. <laughs> like they're temporary. You know what I'm saying? Or like it's the ultimate, you know, come up. But yeah, the win is important, but the loss is important. Too. Like yeah. both of them, like yeah, you said, yeah, both yeah. of them. Because the loss are demoralized right, motherfucker. Right, you yeah. want to see yeah. from a little bump in the road. Like, oh God, I can't you do it. You want to see character in that loss. Yeah. Right. You want to see, see a nigga. Motherfucker, put your chin up, bitch. What you talking about? That's very important. That's very important. Because even, I mean, as a hustler, you got to be able to. You gotta be able to win, and you have to be yeah, able to lose. Take you can't you, take take it, you can't go crazy when you lose. You can't yeah. be like, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I wrote gonna... all this out, and it didn't work. So well, okay. ultimately, Keep a going. true hustler has a different relationship with money than than the average person. Right. You know what I mean? Because because most people see money through the means of how they got it. Mm. You know what I mean? So if you work, if you gotta work 20 hours to get, you know, a couple hundred, a thousand dollars, or 500 dollars. That's how you see money, mm -hmm. you know. A hustle. So when you lose five hundred dollars, you might feel like you just lost twenty hours. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and that's devastating. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, I tell people all the time, if you want to be, a, if you want to get into an investment game, you got to change your relationship with money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Money's going Money is not a a, 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 a social butterfly. You either gonna pimp money, or money's gonna pimp you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for instance, uh. What's that movie? Set it off, mm. right? If you think about how Set it off started, Jada Pinkett got that money for her brother to go to school. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. yeah, she yeah. had to fuck that old sweaty dude, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when she gave him the money and was like, "Hey, here you go," you know, for school, yeah. he was like, "I don't really think I want to go to school." And everybody was like, "This motherfucker," right, right, you know what right, I mean? Because yeah, because everybody saw her relationship of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only that, everybody related to her relationship of money. Yeah. They might not be fucking for money, right, right, but they see money as something really, really hard to get. Yeah. Right. And so they treated him. They looked at him like he was an asshole. Right. Because right, right. he just didn't want to go to school. If yeah. you really think about it, yeah. that's not the worst thing in the fucking world. Right. 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 If, that, if that scene would have been different, and she would have scratched the ticket mm. and won five hundred dollars and said, "Here's your money for school." That same wouldn't have meant shit. Right. But she had to build some relationship with money. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, 
And most people got an abusive relationship yeah, with money. Yeah. So they were able to relate with that abuse yeah. and made it seem like he was abusing her by not taking that money and doing what she gave what she wanted him, him to, to do, do with, it. with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's why like you can see a spoiled little kid uh, and fuck off money. Yeah. And you be like, damn, I hate little spoiled motherfuckers. Yeah. Cause of how you feel about money. Right, right. You right. don't know how you, they you feel like he's being wasteful yeah. when yeah. they feel like I'm yeah. just like Her, their parents might have got that shit in their sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. their parents, My parents they might have got that shit. Yeah. They got that shit on vacation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So their parents might not give a fuck about that money being yeah. shit at all. Yeah. Cause they wasn't shit for them to get it. Right. But right. because of how you feel about yeah. money, you look at it like I hate no gr ungrateful bastards. Yeah. Right, you walk around like yeah. James Evans yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. I still hate no yeah. ungrateful bastards, but we we just gotta. When you a hustler, I think you use money more as a tool. Yeah, money is a tool. <laughs> Absolutely. And you, the other way around, you being used as a tool for money. Yeah. So just as you said, James, I mean, the, the worst the worst thing is trading time for money, <laughs> yeah. in my opinion, because you know you can always get more money. However, that comes, you can never get back. You know, more time. But that's kind of like the right. standard, and that's why I mean your relationship with money has to be different than the standard. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, even the understanding of yourself. I was having a conversation with somebody the other day, and we're talking about it. You know, everybody's not meant to be a hustler or be in business, or right? Anything like that. But if you know that that's not you, and you know that you're going to have to exchange your time for money, you need to be figuring out what can I do to get the most money for my time. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. if that means you had to go back to school yeah. and major in something that you pretty much guaranteed a job yeah. doing, because there are there is a such thing as things Guaranteed you can go to school for yeah. that you're going to have a job for. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Right. So when you identify stuff like that and you know yourself, you know it's something that you can do, then you can take that money that you make, you know, even if you got to take three years to go to school for that, then you can invest that money, mm. you know, regardless if it's investing in the stock market or uh, real estate or whatever, mm. and make that money make some money for you. But it's about knowing yourself because everybody be like, man, I need to be a hustler out here. And you ain't built like yeah, that. Yeah, everybody can't handle it. You know mm. what I mean? And as long as you're being abused by money, you're never going to be able to handle it. Mm -hmm. right. You know right. what I mean? So you got you got to figure out a way, like you said, to because it's always going to take some time to get money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the objective is to keep reducing the amount of time that it takes to get money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If it used to take you a, an hour to get $8, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Eventually, you, now you might get 20 an hour. Right. And then you might get 30 an hour. Right. You know, then you might, you know, so it's just about continually reducing the amount of effort it takes to get your money to the point that you can get enough money and with minimal effort. Right. Exactly. You know I mean, that's, that's mainly it, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a difference between pipe dreamers, hustlers, business owners, whatever you want to call it. But it's about being honest with yourself and being honest about who you with. And, and you know, yeah. if you don't believe in this motherfucker, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and watch what he does, not what he said. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Don't uh, don't don't gamble on a, a dead horse. Or lose don't go chasing waterfalls. Practice like speaks louder than words. You used to. <laughs> every, everybody I mean, don't mind. deserve the pussy. <laughs> every cliche you can think of. Alright, y'all. Thanks for checking us out. Don't forget to subscribe to Black Man's Roundtable.